everyone. Welcome back to Spark and Wonder. Today we are finishing out the second grade curriculum picks series with our picks for electives. So let's dive right into what we are covering in this topic and show you what we've got. First off, electives, I know, is a pretty broad, like, description for this topic. It This is kind of where I put everything else that is just kind of, like, individual. Um, there are some things that we will be using, that we do uh, for a tie-in here, but we don't put onto the table. Mainly stuff like the musical theater class I have her go to once a week. So it kind of gives her some of those socialization, team building things that you just can't get in a one-on-one -on -one classroom setting. It also engages her in ways like, of performing arts and music and things that are not particularly my strong suit. It also helps her kind of introduce and get used to and practice public speaking. And so there's all kinds of wonderful, positive things. Will I think she be in the theater for all ever? No. But there are so many positive benefits to doing musical theater that it's worth the investment of doing. Um, secondly, we go into Spanish. Spanish, we are continuing with La Clase Divertida level one. And that is mainly because we have been on this level since kindergarten and every year something happens that kind of knocks us off our train and prevents us from keeping and going forward but we start at the beginning every year she gets more and more further into it she gets more developed with the curriculum and so i am okay with doing this just over and over and over again until she kind of picks up on it and is strong enough that i feel that we can move on to level two um, we do not do any of the writing aspect of it and that is because it based on the developer of the La Clase de Vertida he made the point of if your child struggles with writing in English do not make them try to spell or read or write in a foreign language that's just not going to happen at least with this that they can start to engage the brain and learning to speak the language which is the most important thing with foreign languages to be able to kind of interact with your world as you grow up um, nextly, we have art. Our main art curriculum for the year is we are going to continue the Home Art Studios series. Um, I, um, we are still in summer as I film this, and um, we are still like we have half of the the first grade art projects not done, and that is not because we didn't like them, but that is because we just got so insanely busy with all of the therapy we had in first grade that we never ended up having the opportunity to do them. And so we are working through those over the summer. If and when I finally do get finished with that series, with that level one, I will share it with you. Um, level two is just a continuation on it. It is all the topics that should be covered in a second grade common or national standards um, curriculum. It is an art educator. She is an actual, an actual teacher and she wanted to emphasize stuff and kind of enc give encouragement and provide a good solid art curriculum for the homeschool community. It is really easy. You pop in the DVD, you pull out the materials you need for the topic and you let the teacher go. Um, if you watch it with, you can kind of like pull out like the different topics that they cover. Um, nextly in art, we have a step-by-step -step drawing book. Um, this is as much sneaky art as it is for um, occupational therapy and for drawing handwriting and ADHD motor planning and having to follow the steps, step by step by step to get to the end. Um, it's a lot of things that can be challenging for younger children and it's a great practice for my daughter. And so we will be doing this in a fun, engaging way. Um, I'm actually kind of excited because um, in years past, I've always had to push her to do the step-by-step -step kind of drawing stuff, but this year she's actually kind of looking forward to doing it. So I'm excited for that. Um, lastly, and art, we will be continuing the Pinkalicious series of the doodle books. Um, I like these because they are very much like a standard doodle book, except it incorporates like creative thinking and 
different art concepts into the um, book. And so we, and it's a very long book. We do this pretty consistently and we still have quite a bit, you know, like a nice little bit of a chunk left. When she finishes Purplicious, she will go on to Pinkadoodles. And that is that. Moving on in our electives, we have PE. Beyond working in the pool and swimming and running around and practicing riding her bike, we have a few DVDs that we do with her. Um, one of the things I didn't bring down is we do use Wii Sports Resort as kind of a way to kind of introduce some of those games to her and kind of help get her into like a safe spot where she can play and use those games and kind of introduce them. This year, I'm kind of wanting to do some like stuff with her and so i have a couple of dance dvds that are meant for adults but we can do it at a level that let's be frank my motor skills and dance skills aren't that great either and so she and i can just laugh and mess up together it's a family bonding time it's a mother daughter kind of event it lets us both get a little bit more fit and healthy and gets us more exercise and these are all great things and so we have the island girl hula so we have two hula dvds and these i don't know if you can find them anywhere i found these at the dollar store like 10 plus years ago um but that is the ones that i've got and um lastly we have one we've been going through for a while it is a cinderella um it's a Cinderella creative movement dance thing and it has a little mat it kind of introduces ballet and that's just a fun thing for her um so that is it for our if that wraps up the creative thinking and movement and elective subject for second grade curriculum picks and it wraps up the last of the curriculum picks for second grade for the year we will soon be kicking off into the school year once that begins you will see updates throughout the year and you will also see story time um videos where i read fun engaging books and to give you mamas a chance to play a video for your child and just take a break because don't we all need that? Um, I also do things like highlight fun finds throughout the year, puzzles, games, supplemental stuff, and tips and tricks. Follow along on the channel. I post something every Wednesday and occasionally when I have a extra content i will post on fridays as well thank you for watching everybody tune in next time if you are looking for any of the um information on any of these you can find it down below and thanks for watching see you next time